Oh, hi there, cutie! You a college student or something? Uh, yeah, but I'm not... You're really my type. Come on, let me buy you a drink! You're drunk, you should go home. Oh, come on, don't be like that! Uh, look, I'm a guy. What? I'm Mamoru Moriyama. I'm a junior in college, and I've been growing out my hair for three years now. And sometimes, as you just saw, people mistook me for a girl. Oh, stop joking around, you can't fool me! Ugh. I don't have time for this. Let's just make a run for it. Hey, stop messing with my friend, loser. Huh? Get lost, you drunk. Uh, I'm sorry! You okay? Oh, she was just trying to help me, I get it. Uh, thanks. Wait, you're a guy? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I... I thought you were a woman, and thought you might need some help. Don't apologize. Thanks for your help. I'm trying to donate my hair, so I'm growing them out. Sometimes people think I'm a girl, and, well, you saw what just happened. You can donate your hair these days? Yeah, you can use them to make wigs out of them. For people suffering with hair loss and stuff, you know? I've always wanted to try it. Oh, I see. That sounds wonderful. I've been growing it out for three years now. I'm gonna cut it soon. Do you think I could donate my hair too? It's not as nice as your hair, but... Um, if it's longer than 12 inches, I think you can. And your hair looks just fine. I'm sure you can donate your hair too. Cool, tell me more. I really want to try this. Uh, sure. It was getting late, so we exchanged contact info and decided to meet up again a few days later. Her name was Chaimi Sawada. She was a sophomore in college. She went to an old girl's school nearby. So it doesn't really matter if you dyed your hair in the past? Not at all, as long as it's not severely damaged or anything. And I can go to any hair salon and get it done, right? I think so. There are certain specs you have to meet to donate your hair, so you should call them beforehand to let them know, just in case. I'm gonna get my hair cut at a local hair salon. They said they've done this lots of times before, so... Uh... I see. Last night, I measured my hair, and it's almost 12 inches. Hey, I know. Let's cut our hair at the same time. You're really gonna cut your hair, all of it? Yeah. I've never grown out my hair like this before, but I didn't know you could help people like this, so I want to try it. Oh, I see. Well then, uh, let's get our hair cut together then. All right. Oh, this is exciting! Sawada-san was very easy to talk to. We became friends in no time. And we had a lot in common. For instance, we both liked horror movies. It was nice meeting someone like that since most of my friends at school didn't like scary movies. After that, we started hanging out together more often. Going to the movies and stuff. Hey, Sawada-san. Uh, sorry for the wait. No worries. Come on, let's get going. I cannot wait to see this movie. Same here. I've been watching previews of it online nonstop for days. But then I accidentally clicked on this spoiler video and I closed it just in time, but it was close. <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear. The main character, her hair is pretty long too. She could probably donate her hair if she wanted to. True, she probably could. Jimmy? Huh? Oh, hey. Huh? That's my older brother. He goes to the same school as you. What are you doing with this guy? Uh, he's a friend. Well, look at his hair! What kind of guy grows out his hair like that? Get away from him! He's growing out his hair so he can donate them. Stop being rude. Yeah, he's just saying that. He probably thinks it looks cool on him or something. Hey, asshole! Stay away from my sister! You creep me out! Uh... Sorry about my brother. Don't worry about it. I'm used to this, really. Come on, let's go see that movie. Okay. Uh, that was a great movie. Yeah, I loved it. I wish I hadn't run into my brother, though. If it wasn't for him, this day would have been much better. So what a son, forget about him. Over the past three years, a lot has happened. Some good, some bad, but 
Overall, I've enjoyed the experience, so... What do you mean, bad? Well, I mean, most people think guys should have short hair. I thought that myself a few years ago. But regardless of how long my hair is, I'm still the same person, you know? A lot of people don't see it that way, and they usually judge me by the way I look. Sometimes it doesn't feel good, but the whole experience helps me put things into perspective. After I started growing out my hair, people started saying the strangest things to me. Things nobody said to me when my hair was short. They're literally judging the book by its cover. But then it got me thinking, maybe I've done the same to others without realizing it, you know? I want to be able to accept people for who they are, without judging them by the way they look. I realize that I gotta expand my horizons. The less I know, the more likely it is that I'll judge someone, so... I see. Oh, I gotta be careful too. I still got a lot to learn, but this whole experience has taught me a lot. <laughs> He's such a good person. Long hair required a lot of maintenance work. For instance, it took forever just to dry your hair. But keeping your hair dry was very important. Leaving your hair wet after showering can lead to bad odor, so it was a lot of work. And depending on where you were or who you were with, sometimes you had to tie your hair. I had no idea about any of this before all this. And even though some people judged me for the way I looked, most of my friends were very understanding. Like Sawada-san. Some even told me to keep the long hair since it looked good on me. It really made me appreciate good friends. Honestly, I wish everyone was understanding like that, but unfortunately, that's not how the world works. But regardless, through this experience, I learned a lot, and I think it made me a better person overall. Look at his head! So ugly! Ugh, you're right. So lame. Just ignore him. There's no point talking to him. Sawada-san's brother kept making fun of me on campus, and his friends joined him too. But I didn't have time for this, so I just ignored him. Ugh, why isn't he saying anything? Then one day I got a call from Sawada-san. She said she wanted to hang out, so I got dressed and ran out of the house. Thanks for showing up on such short notice. I had nothing to do today, and I really wanted to go see this movie. Sure thing. I was bored out of my mind too, so fine by me. <laughs> Good to hear. Cute. She's so cute. I wish I could spend more time with her. If I ask her out, will she say yes? So you like haunted houses and stuff? Oh yeah, but I haven't been to one in a while. I don't really want to go to a theme park by myself, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Hey, I know. Why don't we go together? There's this theme park with a really scary haunted house. Sounds fun. Jimmy! Uh... What are you doing? And why is Dad here? Your dad? Why are you still hanging out with him? I told you to stop! What's the matter? Is he trouble? Yeah, he's bad news. I told him to stay away from her. Hey! Stop being rude! Dad, say something! I mean, look at him! You really want Chime hanging out with a guy like this? Uh, I... He's a nice person. He's just growing out his hair so he can donate it. Stop making things up! Normal guys don't grow out their hair like that. You're donating your hair? Yeah. How long did it take you to grow out your hair like that? Uh, about three years. I'm gonna cut it soon, though. I see. That couldn't have been easy. Dad? You guys probably don't know this, but my mother, your grandmother, she lost all her hair due to an illness. But then someone donated their hair to her, and it changed her life completely. What? Grandma? Wait, so she was wearing a wig this whole time? Yeah, I bet you guys didn't notice. Before getting the wig, she was really depressed. She spent most of her time inside her house. I think it's great what you're doing. Thank you. But you, I'm ashamed of you. Ugh. Apologize to him now! Don't ever do this again! I I'm sorry. I was really glad that Sawada-san's dad took my side. After that, Sawada-san's brother stopped bugging me. The day is finally here. Yeah, 
but I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> All right. And so, I finally cut my hair. I could feel the breeze on my neck again. It felt good. Hopefully, they'll put my hair to good use and help someone in need. Morning! Oh, you finally did it! Great work, man! Thanks. Wow, you look so fresh. Thanks. Wow, you look so great. Yeah, you're so my type. What? But I thought you guys liked me! Moyama, you look so handsome. Come hang out with us. Yeah, let's go to karaoke together. Yeah, uh, sorry, but no. You guys judge people by the way they look, and uh, I don't want to hang out with people like that. Uh, oh. I was still the same guy as before, but now they were treating me differently. I didn't have time for people like them. I want to be with someone who understands me, who sees me for who I am on the inside. Mamoru-san! Suwara-san! I mean, Chami! Hey, wanna go see a movie together? My friends gave me free tickets, see? Uh, sure, sounds good. Alright, but the movie starts in 40 minutes. Come on! Okay. The day I got my haircut, I asked Sawada-san out and she said yes! After that, we started spending more time together. I really enjoyed spending time with her. I was really glad that she came into my life. Anyways, glad everything worked out. Like the saying goes, you should never judge a book by its cover. Looks can be deceiving, and you never know what a person is going through, so just be kind to everyone around you. Anyways, what do you think of today's story? Please let me know in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Bye bye Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.